We have no walls. It's a house without walls. That's the, the concept. In the, the internal space and the external space, they, they mix together. We have the perception huh, of the, the green uh, is uh, all around, and you are downtown. But you are in the green, uh, like staying in, in the country, no? This building has a special facade. This is a triple facade. The first layer is this one with a triple glazed window. Then we have a space between the internal spaces and external spaces. This is the first facade. This is just a, a space between the internal and external. You can enjoy also during the winter. It's heated just with the sun. So during the winter, it's a great solar panel. So we can gain free energy from the sun and we can heat up a little bit the spaces. When the temperature is good to live here, we can open and use this space. Otherwise, especially during the summer, to prevent this space to heat a lot. And the architect Luciano Pia designed um, another space, another little space here. <laughs> this space is uh, partially open like, and partially glazed. Oh, yeah. So this space is between the second facade and the external facade. This facade, this space, it's uh, um, designed for hair coming from down and go up. And you see here we have the shading system. So the heat from the sun created in this space go up because the, the sun uh, it's blocked by the, 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 the shading system. And we have a kind of chimney effect also here. When you are here in summer, you, you, you see the, the air coming from down and go up. Okay. The idea is to, to extract the air from the top of the building thanks to the wind passing through this kind of chimney to cool down the building. The, the technology is, is really ancient. In, uh, in very warm climates, especially in, in the Middle East, it used to be a way of uh, cooling building during the summertime, in which there are temperatures that can reach 50 degrees Celsius. So, so it's really, really hot. I mean, like kind of desert hot. So they used to have, or they still have, these uh, wind tunnels or wind towers, they call it. The translation from the Arabic. It's basically a funnel that uh, raises uh, to the top of the building, over the roof, and it uh, uses the differential in heat between the base of the building, so the very warm ground, and the wind that is uh, at the top of the building. And it creates a current, a Venturi effect, if you want to. So to cool this air, this air current that is created by the difference in temperature and the suction of the wind from the top, that will cool the air inside. It was a, a way of extracting the heat from the ground by creating an artificial wind. Which is exactly the same principle here. So it's creating a tunnel, a wind tunnel, vertical, that is extracting cool or injecting warmth during according to the season opposite to the season so it's all story all technology in a new fashion using glass and steel to do the same result you're basically standing on glass your neighbors they're getting some of your light right yes there's a lot of light there's a lot of light right yeah. and do you what do you think the double skin, does it work? Do, do you get it? It works very well. We really don't use the heating. No. Because you see, the, the, you know, the solution is very, very efficient. And the sun 
who own all the apartment. Really? Yeah. So the sun coming in and heating this room. Exactly. Then you open these and let. Yes. Come, so this is a little heater for the rest of the apartment. Absolutely, yes. Turin has not so much sun okay. in winter, but it's enough to warm the, the, the apartment. Yeah. Yeah. I also like very much the fact that your... <laughs> your transparency. Your, yeah, your sun room exactly doesn't look opaque. So in, 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 a, in, in a way you are profiting from other floors. Yes, it's, 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 a, it's a particular feeling, no? Yeah. You, you have no walls and you have transparency up and down. For me, I almost feel like I'm in a pool, a swimming pool. Or, or like a I swimming mean. pool, no. yes. Uh, you, you see this artwork. The meaning is uh, we are uh, uh, on the top, on the bottom, of a sort of uh, little lake. And that's the, the lotus, lotus flowers. It's nice to be in a building where you think about your neighbors, or someone has thought about the neighbors. You know, nobody is taking all light or all the... It's worse the whole building. It's a common solution, yeah. yeah. In this building, we, we design the air movement from the, from the city uh, to the internal courtyard to bring the fresh air to the trees inside the courtyard and also to make a, a chimney effect into the, the courtyard. It is important that this is open, this is helping. Yes, yes, it's open for the, for the light and, and for the air coming inside because otherwise this, kind, this, this uh, courtyard it will be too close. You see, on the other side they have a, a good view of the building. Uh, uh, but not many architects make that decision because you're losing re commercial I mean, you're using real residential space here, right? Uh, yes, but the architect decided to push up the building to detach the building from the traffic, the urban traffic, you see? Okay, so for a lot of meters here we don't have anything, yeah. but they, they take the space from the lowest part and they Added put on top. To yeah, yeah. Oh, without okay. losing uh, oh, okay. space so to, to bring more sun and to have a beautiful view in the top of the building. This is the uh, real palace of Turin. Then uh, you have the, the garden, the real garden of the real palace. And then you have the Mola Antonelliana that you can have a look, uh, and next to the old parliament and the first parliament, uh, Turin was the first capital in uh, 1861. In Italy, really in Italy okay. yes. Of course, uh, before to be a republic, there was the monarchy, and yeah. so we have the king <laughs> uh, in the real palace. You have the Sindone, that is uh, an iconic symbol of the Catholic religion. Uh, the sheet of Jesus shit. And uh, is uh, situated uh, in the big church, the Duomo, inside. When uh, <laughs> I arrived here in uh, Maggio 2009, May 2009, we find this. We find this. You know, here we are uh, 31 meters high. Okay. This, the old one, was about 15. Uh, eh? That was the, what you saw? Yeah. This? And this one was a cinema called Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. Porno cinema. Yeah. This part is not considered the best part of the city. A cinema on the left. On the right, a ballroom called Du Parc. And the ballroom was, was uh, something really amazing. We had the groups uh, singing, important, eh? Yeah, the ballroom was where you parked your car. Underground? Underground, underground. Yes, I mean, you were missing the opportunity of just opening the building to, to the best part of the city. See, but uh, in, the, in the head of, Tor of Torinese, rich people lives on the hill, in the Via Roma, Piazza Castello, but this one, um, not, not so good, not so good. 
The North Torino is uh, industrial. Industrial. Oh, now, no, 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 no more, but see, si, some industrial, but not, not, so, not so much. All this part of Torino is industrial. You have also the biggest market in Torino, Porta Palazzo, you see, no? no it's not a residential area. So, they brought me on the top and uh, I saw this. I said, no, impossible. <laughs> we, have to, we have to build something here. <laughs> We have to go higher, but you know, we have a limit because of uh, cubatura, non so come vo volume. Uh -huh. You can build as, as, as you want. Eh? Yes. So we use the, the volume of uh, all the ancient theater and all the uh, discoteca and cinema, and we are grown. We're grown up to 30 meters. By bringing it up here, yeah. you get you're yeah. in the garden of the palace, yeah. so, I mean, it changes everything. Yeah, but uh, smart people know this, <laughs> but not all people are <laughs> smart. <laughs> the, the, the box is amazing. As you can see, we love black. And, and the mirror too is a, a good idea because uh, when you are dying and you are sitting over there, you can just have a, a look to the view behind. So everyone, guests, can come yeah. for dinner or for lunch when he's sitting, can have the same view of the other one that is sitting in front of this amazing view. This uh, kind of uh, construction was made after the Second War. This was the front, this was the back, because before we had a theater. That's each. still kind of there. Yeah. Oh. was the only part, historic part, of the theater built at the end of uh, 18th century. We had to conserve completely conserved. As a part of the patrimony yeah. of the city. Yeah. Il, questo qua era un teatro nel 1800 che poi è stato eh, bombardato in parte eh, durante la seconda guerra mondiale eh, e quindi poi è stato ricostruito sul fronte un edificio contemporaneo nel novecento Mentre invece nella parte eh, frontale è un edificio che in quella parte lì è proiettato verso l'esterno. Eh, esatto. E questa forma serve anche a catturare il più, il più alto quantitativo di raggi solari. Sì. In effetti in questo edificio e in questo in questa corte ha proprio anche la funzione di benessere, no? Questo giardino serve come fascia filtro tra eh, l'edificio, la parte di edificio davanti e il teatro che è la parte di edificio dietro. Here we are in a close, uh, in un ambiente chiuso, in, a, in un ambiente chiuso, coperto, ma dove uh, d'inverno fa freddo. It's cold in winter. So we have to choose some plants that could uh, live with cold, but uh, without rain. They like uh, also shadow, don't need uh, more sun. Il verde restituisce molti servizi ecosistemici, soprattutto le, le foglie assorbono le polveri sottili, l'anidride carbonica. Inoltre le piante abbassano anche la temperatura, rendono comunque appunto più, più vivibile. Our neighbor in the, in the theater. We are four in the theater. Vieni. Stefano, possiamo entrare? Oh, please get in. Get in. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, wow. Ah, entra, sei tu. Ah, ok, ok. Vivo qua, in effetti. Eh sì. È il nostro... Ciao! From here, you just, it looks like you're in a garden. It looks like, let's say that it doesn't look like you are in Turin. <laughs> it doesn't look like in Turin, yeah, at all. And it's interesting because you're the streets right there. There's no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this period there, there is also all the trees, so it's, it's very, it's, everything is green, so it's very nice, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, a, let's say, a garden. Okay. Uh, it's not a private one, it's from the building. Eh sì, siamo vicini eh, e sì. ci vediamo <laughs> attraverso la finestra. Ci, we can. Yes, because in evening, during the evening we go at home, but uh, we don't stay in, the, in our office. And so he. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't be drunk, <laughs> otherwise it's dangerous. But if you are not, that's fine. <laughs> it works. Looks very uh, futuristic, but uh, elegant at the same time, right? Uh, yes. wow. And no. this is my bedroom. And there's a bathroom? It's very open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very open. Yeah. And this is where I, I work. This is my, my place to work. Yeah. On the tree. On the yeah. tree, right? <laughs> yeah, it's green, it's nice. It's interesting. Like, it's not just the garden. It's, you have the garden, and then you have, go back and you see the cars, and then you see the street. So Everything. Like, this is what, what I like it <laughs> from you here. Do. Yeah. You like seeing sort of Turin and the street and the cars. And Correct. Like all of it. Uh, exactly. This is what I like it. <laughs> there is a permeability, right? It's a, it, the building is very permeable, and, uh, and it, 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 does, it does look, this green continuity. It has like different layers, right? Yeah, you can see. is it like a by step, right? Yes. Yeah, by step. The private, the common, and then the public. Uh, pay attention here. You have to do in the middle. Is a uh, one here and okay. one here. So okay. just in the middle, okay? Eh, non vorrei che sia scappato il cane. Eh? This is. Oh, is this real? Green? The real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real. It's real. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how. It it, it is, but it's real. Uh, muschio. But moss. Yeah. Moss. So do you have to water it? No, 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 no. The irrigation it takes the humidity from the from the hair. It stays alive just with water from the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only that. And is it, would it have to be in a basement like this, or could you do it upstairs? No, no also okay. upstairs, but not outside, because uh, the rain uh, destroyed. <sighs> okay. Okay. So interior works well. Yes, yeah, interior. Yeah. That's great. Okay. <laughs> so we are, we're in the old theater. This was a theater, everything was a theater, everything is new, it has been redone, except this wall, that is the only one that is the original one that uh, they, they keep it. Okay. All the rest is new, but the concept of the theater remains. This is uh, what I like, it, like to live in a theater. <laughs> to like, uh, to give uh, the more uh, personal to the, the kitchen, no? that, that, that is... Uh, <laughs> In this building, every apartment has an air renovation system that takes uh, exhaust air from the uh, bathroom and uh, kitchens. The air comes here, uh, exchange heat with the fresh air coming from outside, and the pure air is put it into the air diffuser overhead. So it means that uh, even with the windows closed, you have uh, air circulation always that takes air for example from these uh, air grills yeah. this is an, an air extraction okay. this air goes to the machine you've seen before uh, and for example in the winter the heat into the air it's transferred to the cold air coming from outside yeah. and in the end even with the window closed here we have always a good air quality without losing energy. Here we have another grill 
for air extraction. Okay, so that, that vents the air from the bathroom. From the bathroom to the machine we have seen before. Because is the is the worst air you have in a house. Oh, so okay. I take the air oh. from the spaces less clean, okay. uh, kitchen and bathroom. Okay. You see here oh, yeah. a grill. Okay. From this grill the air come into the bathroom. Okay. Clean okay. and heated uh -huh. and goes to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. And this heat uh, contained into the air is uh, recycled. It's, it's, uh, it's the heat, though. The, the heat, heat, just the heat, not the air. I, I have to to climb ah, here. Okay. okay. <coughs> but we can go outside, where we can okay. see the external unit of the heat pans. Okay. Pay attention here. Ah, okay. Okay. You 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 have to do. A, okay. Okay, here we are on the uh, external side of the heat pump system. This building has double source uh, system for heating and cooling, provided by a gas boiler and heat pumps. The heat pumps are a kind of split system. Inside we have the compressor and the internal unit of the heat pump, and outside we have just uh, the fans, okay? And the architect wants that these fans can be clearly visible from outside. Behind the fans, there is an, an heat exchanger. During the winter time, the, the fluid inside is lower in terms of temperature uh, than the, the outside air. Uh, so the, uh, this fluid catch energy from the air. And during the summer, the fluid is over the temperature of the air and works like normal air conditioning system the heat is going to go out. All the HVAC of the building is provided from this external unit and a small gas boiler just used in the coldest season. So this external unit keeps energy from the outside air during the winter and push the heat from the internal side during the summer. In the middle of the season between summer and winter, the internal side can provide simultaneously heating for uh, space heating and cooling for the space heating also of the highest apartment, for example. You know, this is a building that in the middle season needs to be uh, heated on the lower buildings and need to be cooled on the highest buildings. So this system provides uh, both energy cooling energy and heating energy simultaneously. When we have a balance, uh, this external unit doesn't work. Just the heat pump transfer the hot on the top of the building to the apartment on the lower side of the building. You can, you, here you can see the structure. It's all wood. And then they, they cover. And all the job is, uh, is by hand. So all the cladding has been done by hand, even though it looks very precise, huh? Absolutely, yes. Th this kind of work you, you can uh, automatize, no? You, you, you have to do by hand. It seems like um, a space uh, vessel. Huh? <laughs> some some yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's the way to put it. <laughs> this building has so many things going on. Yeah. You know, it has yeah, the, yeah. the glass, it has the courtyard, the cement, it has this shit. Many, many peculiarity. Yeah. And, and so functional. In so many ways, right? Yeah. In so many ways. And also, it doesn't... It's not only for the show, but for example, you have your bedroom with these views and this access to the terrace. Yes. You have a sunroom that behaves different uh, depending on the season. You have a, a lot of things that are also quality of life, it's not only for the looks. 